Hey everybody, this is uh, day one of my 30-day uh, um, uh, vinyl challenge. It's actually day two, but yesterday I had some technical difficulties, so I couldn't uh, um, make this video yesterday. So I'm, I'm doing it today, I'm doing two videos today. One for yesterday and uh, one for today, obviously. Um, uh, I did listen to a, a record yesterday and um, you know, random pick, like I said in my introduction video. I really had fun um, doing it and um, uh, you know, really listening to a record with your full attention and um, uh, you know, uh, researching things about the record and about the artist and uh, um, it, 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 was, it was great and uh, I really can't wait what records I can listen to uh, to more in uh, the next um, 29 or 28 days that are left in this challenge. Um, so without further ado, the record I uh, listened to yesterday was this, this Fever Ray, self-titled debut album. And um, this is a... Uh, um, solo project by a um, Swedish singer, her name is Karen Dreyer Andersson, um, who is originally in a band called uh, The Knife, a uh, electronic um, group from Sweden. And um, yeah, th this is her first solo uh, album. Um, it was released in 2009. And um, it was lauded with positive reviews, and uh, you know, managed to make it on a lot of um, best of uh, lists of 2009. And um, well, I can't say anything else than uh, than that's really justified because this is really a fantastic album. Um, she um, no, let me let me put it this, this way. Um, it's an electronic ambient record um, with trip hop beats underneath, you know, and um, uh, she sings overdose, but with a lot of voice manipulation, and um, it sounds really, really stark and uh, minimalistic. Uh, which really brings out the um, the ambient aspect of this record. You know, the the beats are really in, in the background and, and um, almost you get almost a, like a faded or blurred idea of the beats. You know, in the background, they're they're really not the folk the focus point of this uh, record, um, which is more um, about the the atmosphere that. Uh, the, uh, the ambient uh, melody sets and and her voice obviously and, um, and her voice is really great you know it's with the manipulation and um, sometimes you know she's like an octave lower than her own voice and it almost sounds like a, like there's a, there's a man singing there and uh, you know it, on some points, it's a really um, almost, I would say, almost creepy and haunting uh, atmosphere that it sets. And um, yeah, it's it's a really fantastic album, um, especially the first two songs, which were also um, the first two singles. If I had a heart and when I grow up, really fantastic songs. Um, if I had to rate this album, it would definitely be an 8 out of 10. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's really, really great. And well, you know, when I bought this, I only listened to it once, actually. Um, hadn't paid any attention to it anymore, um, which was really a shame, because cause, cause it's a really fantastic album, and it really deserved the attention I gave it. By, paying full attention to this record, you know, and um, I'm really going to listen to this album a lot more. 
it's really fantastic. So, um, yeah, that was day one. Um, I already, at random, uh, got a second record to listen to. I already listened to it once and I'm gonna listen to it a little more now and uh, make a video a little later on. So, um, I wanna thank you for watching um, this video. I wanna apologize for it being in daylight, but, you know, it happens. It is what it is. And, um, Thank you for watching.